Welcome to our summit. How's the conference? Awesome! Fascinating. Excellent. Significantly better than last year. I wouldn't miss it. Networking. The venue. It's beautiful. It's unbelievable. Oh, we'll definitely be back. I can guarantee that. Many years back, experiential knowledge was what was most important. But in a world that is changing so quickly, you need to you know, work with inferential learning as much as experiential knowledge. You're going to see more and more businesses making use of data at sort of arbitrarily large scales. I think this is something that Mu Sigma can bring to you. And the information age is about manipulation of information, which is computation. And that what differentiates companies in the future. We're all about really differentiating ourselves with computation. I think it will move from, from a science kind of uh, perspective of data and, and what can we do with it to a much more some sort of behavioral science kind of uh, aspect. Yes, people spend a lot of time stroking their phones and living with their phones and talking on their phones, but actually it's also around how they're interacting on the web, how they're doing other activities that we can then integrate that in to get a fuller picture of that customer. The impacts or the investments we've made in product quality, can we quantify that? Can we make some decisions based off of that? And the business is really starting to take hold of that as well. But it's usually not just a modeling discussion. And the ROI and the payback, you've got to use all the tools in your tool bag in order to have that conversation. I don't have a PhD uh, in statistics. Uh, statistics is one of my uh, classes I had to take to get my MBA. Um, but I have a lot of very smart people around me that uh, have, embraced, uh, uh, have embraced our vision, my vision, of what decision sciences can be. Uh, I want to thank Mu Sigma for hosting this event. Uh, I found it fascinating to be able to talk to the, uh, the many of you in, in, in uh, spaces outside of healthcare, and just the, the common thread is is, uh, is is very obvious, and, and I think there's a lot we can we can do together. And the HR group came to my analytics group and said, "Hey, is there a way we can use all of this data to try to target high potential hires into the future?" So there's an example where we don't have analytics as an overall initiative but analytics is kind of built into the culture about how might you go about solving problems. The last secret, reward impact, not insights. Um, and this is interesting because as analysts or as managers of analytical teams, our job is to produce insights. But Ken's thought was, if nobody's behavior changed as a result of an insight, then you haven't added any business value. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how do you institutionalize decision sciences within a retail industry. The basic question every organization wants to understand is, how do you increase profitability by maximizing customer experience? In many instances, could that be an opportunity? The fact that you don't have data to address what it is that you're looking for, is that an opportunity? This is a journey that a decision takes. It moves from one step to another, uh, you know, and there's a journey that this decision takes. Right? Let's look at it as a decision supply chain for a second. So what are we in the business of? Why are we there? We are here to make better decisions. We are here to make those decisions in time. We are here to shorten or optimize the decision supply, decision cycle time. 